So as some of you know, Laura and I are moving back to Ontario with the business just because it makes way more sense to be doing stuff with the barbell box back uh, back in Ontario. Uh, majority of you are all all there, all of our fans are there. Um, so we've been out here for a year and a half and it's been a great experience. We're actually in Canmore, Alberta, so just outside of Calgary in the mountains, beautiful place. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's sad to leave, but it's exciting to go home, see family, see all you guys, be able to do all the OPA shows, travel the circuit, so we really get to see everybody like we used to. Um, so there'll be fun times. Uh, today I just, uh, just stopped at the gas station, picked up a pack of Jack Link's beef jerky and a combat crunch bar. I completely forgot my meals. Today's been a, a crazy hectic day. I've been patching holes in the house from all of Laura's frames that she's hung up and um, changing light bulbs and everything else, making sure that the place is nice and nice and clean for the new people coming in. And then I was supposed to have a U-Haul trailer available to me in Canmore, but it wasn't. So I had to drive two hours to Olds, Alberta, which I didn't even know existed. Uh, it's actually a pretty cute town. You can see the mountains from here, um, but there's no real direct way back home. So you've got to go down and around and it's quite the ride. So just picked up the U-Haul and it's making a lot of noise because it's empty. Uh, it's bouncing around, but we're going to go home. We're going to pack it. Tonight we're going to hit a huge workout. Uh, big back day with uh, with Jack and Chris, so that's going to be lots of fun. Uh, these guys have come along in the last few weeks, and I've become pretty close to them. Uh, it's been nice training with uh, with some guys my size that can keep up and can move the same weight that I can. Um, so that's always good. It's going to suck to leave and and not be able to train with them anymore, but uh, such is life. Um, so yeah, now we're on the way home, gonna pack, get this baby ready to roll, and we're rolling out Friday.
of a night. Sleeping on the ghetto crash pad. <laughs> Dog's been crying so much because he's afraid we're going to leave him, so he's pooped. Laura cleaned the whole house today while we packed the trailer. Um, and she lent her skills to Tetrising the hell out of the trailer to make sure everything fits properly. <laughs> and it's 1 a.m. I just got back from the gym. And looks like we're good to go in the morning. Just got to figure out where I'm going to put that. I don't know if that's going to fit, but I guess we'll see in the morning. We're going to go get a roof rack, see if maybe that helps. Uh, we've got a few things left. The U-Haul is packed to the brim. The car is packed to the brim. I bought this roof rack bag, hoping that we can fit the remaining stuff in there, but it requires a roof rack system. Something I don't have, so we're gonna science the shit out of this. We've got some orange straps. We're gonna run them underneath so that the bag can attach to the top of the car. And we're gonna get this all in and then hopefully get on the road soon. Sometimes things don't always go as planned. And you just gotta figure out a way, just work around it until you figure out what you gotta do. So that's what we're doing with the orange straps. And uh, fingers crossed that it works. Oh yeah. He science that hard. Right? Oh yeah. Looks good. It. Got it all secured. Packed like absolute champs. I don't think we could fit another like an thing in here on this 4,000 kilometer road trip. U-Haul's there. It's gonna be probably a 1,200 pound deadlift. It is packed to the brim. How we got all of this in that trailer I don't know. Hopefully the Jeep's up for towing it. That's it. Say goodbye to the old place. Time to get the show on the road. Just moved in. Finally got everything all set up. It was a long process. Uh, but it feels good to finally be settled in somewhere again after that long move. So I just thought I'd take you guys for a little bit of a tour. Uh, see what we're... Uh, where we're living now that we've moved from uh, Alberta back to Ontario. So, yep. Uh, this is the main foyer. These are boxes left over from ship week. Uh, we just finished that. And then if you look down here, this is the main foyer into the house. We've got the master bath. Master bedroom. Laundry room. Laundry room, folded clothes on top. This is the main room. Kitchen. We do all our cooking. Makeshift workstation set up. That's where all the magic happens. That's where we talk to all you guys and uh, pretty much run the business from within here. For now, we're looking to get a warehouse. Um, the house product and try and put a gym in with it too so that everything's under one roof uh, <laughs> door pad from the car uh, just trying to fix a uh, faulty lock switch so get the door pad off something i'm working on giant harvest table for where we have our family gatherings uh, that's the deck looks outside towards the uh, lake got the christmas tree all set up Poochie's down here having a little nap. We've got upstairs where the guests stay for the most part. Um, we don't go up here much. Not really used for it. Everything's kind of on the main floor. Uh, here is a guest bedroom. It's actually kind of dark. You can't really see. Um, there's two beds in there. Another guest bedroom. Lots of closet space. This 
where our parents and friends and family stay when they come to visit. And then they have their own bathroom here. Um, so this is kind of the guest bathroom. Got everything they'd ever need. And then we'll show you downstairs quickly. Just gotta turn off the lights. And back down to the main foyer, main room. Downstairs is where we have uh, our packing station, workstation, everything like that. It's where we keep product. That's where I do my morning cardio. So this is downstairs. Sneak peek at month's products to come. Uh, there's, there's what a thousand barbell boxes look like before we ship them all out to everyone. Um, kind of running out of space. Gonna need a warehouse soon. Some more product, custom tissue, and then this is my workstation this is a desk I made. I come down here to get some quiet time when I really need to. Uh, it's got everything I need. Um, some pass boxes. We were taking photos for the new website, which is coming soon. Should be launching this week, so we're really excited about that. And then this is the last year's worth of Barbell Box magazines. Of course, we got one more to come for December. Something we're working on right now. Definitely gonna be our best box yet. Um, Laura does a lot of artsy, artsy stuff. This is kind of her arts and crafts station. Uh, what's she working on right now? I think this is for, actually, no, I'm not gonna show it because it's a Christmas present. Um, no doubt family are gonna see this photos or this video, so. We won't say too much. My cardio bike, I'll set up. Probably one of the best things I've I've bought for the house by far. Um, got another bathroom in there, and then more guest rooms down here. Got another guest room here. Lots of closet space. I think the house sleeps 16. So we're gonna have a big Christmas party here with all of my friends and Laura's friends, and then we're also doing family. Family Christmas down here, bunk beds. Yeah, so that's kind of the tour of the place. Um, just wanted to give you guys a quick tour, uh, just so you see, you know, where we're living, what it's like. Uh, we'll get you some more behind the scenes stuff as, uh, as the time comes. And yeah, just wanted to conclude this video. So we'll see you next time.